Let's go now to NRA TV commentator Dana Lash. Dana, welcome to the program. Always so nice to see you, Grant. So, Dana, this letter was really directly written to you and uh, your response now that they threatened you, as, as the left always does, and me, I guess, at times, for inciting right. violence. Well, I never actually received the letter, Grant. I mean, that's the first rule. I mean, just to recap for everybody, I mean, that's how you send letters to people and you want them to read it. You give it to the press. You don't give it to the person to whom you're actually writing the letter. Uh, that's, and that's exactly what this group did. They leaked it to the press because they wanted to have a story about a video that was published in April, <laughs> which, by the way, nothing says news like overreacting to a video that was cut and published in April, by the way, uh, and keeping that whole fake controversy going. Good job, New York Times. <laughs> so, you know, God love them. We'll pray for them. Uh, so this, this particular trade group, uh, they sent this letter to the press, not to me, and then they were mad, I guess, because I hadn't seen it because they hadn't sent it to me, and they were upset that a free people were talking about Grant fact-checking their media. Now, I know, I mean, that's apparently a really dangerous and incendiary and violent thing. Not Antifa, mind you, burning down buildings and punching people in the face. Not occupiers, none of that stuff. Not any of the black block stuff that we've seen in Portland or Seattle where there's been just tons of property destruction and uh, physical and property damage, by the way. No, that's okay. No, it's when you talk, Grant, about a free people's right to hold account their media and fact check their media that is when certain members of the media take they just take great exception to it they were very upset about it and so they went and they told a trade organization and I feel like I need to come up grant with a, my own trade organization just so I can go and tell my trade organization and then my trade organization can go to war with their trade organization and we can settle it well you know they have multiple entities in their trade organization can I join your trade organization yeah, you can totally, yes, of course, we take all kinds. Of course you can. What amazes me about this grant is there is a deliberate effort by certain members of the media to label any sort of fact-checking of the press as, quote-unquote, incendiary. They want to do this. It is a purposeful design so as to limit a free people's right to fact-check their press. They want to shame you. They want to shame NRA members. They want to shame any American away from fact-checking a press, which, by the way, if anyone follows me on Twitter, at DLash, I have pointed out, along with Twitchy and a few other great websites, how USA Today is going around and doxing members of Trump golf course for nothing. All right. So, so doxing, explain to everybody out there that isn't uh, up to speed in the Twitter world what that actually is. I know you, you mean, I know what you mean, Grant. You mean specifically the New York Times editorial staff, the same people who didn't understand the word fisking, and they, we saw what happened with that. So exactly. doxing is when you take, when you go and you publish people's information and their names and associations that hasn't really been published all over social media, and you go and you take that and you make that, that information widely more public. So what USA Today did is they actually went to see who had, they, they're trying to spin it as who has access and influence over the president. Let's go and look at all of the members of the golf uh, of his golf clubs and since those membership lists aren't public uh, they are private lists they decided to analyze and stalk all these social media users and then ascertain who is a member of Trump's golf course etc cetera, etc cetera. and then they reached out and contacted each and every one of these individuals apparently to determine who had access to the president and who was doing government work and even though there was no wrongdoing found they feel really great about themselves grant yeah well it's it borderlines on stalking and and criminal behavior and and, and that kind of and thing and you wonder why we call out the press. Yeah, exactly. And you wonder why we call out the press. This is the exact reason that we call out the press. And these people are mad because we call them out for this. You know what? Look, here's something that I think that all of these people, I'm going to interrupt you because this, i got to get this out. Go. Here's something that all of these people need to reacquaint themselves with, Grant, because I did give them a statement when they finally reached out and asked for one after they danced for the press. They need to re reacquaint themselves with the First Amendment. I don't mean just the, the freedom of press. I mean also the right of a free people to criticize that press. Press. That's also part and parcel of a free press and free speech. You know what kills me about all of this is they specifically said for the NRA to concentrate only on the Second Amendment. You see, they are so out of touch with the reality that they do not understand that every amendment, every constitutional right is connected. They can't defend the First Amendment. They've weaponized the First Amendment. So we'll defend all of the rights laid out in our Constitution, you know why, including the Second You know Second. why they did that, Grant? Tell me. You know why they did that, don't you? Tell me. They did that because our members are effective. 
because our members have been going out and questioning the reports that they see. Our members have been on social media all morning saying, wait a minute, hold up USA Today, did you really go out and look at the private information of all of these individuals and your one big gripe against them is that they're wealthy enough to play at a golf club? Really? And that's apparently a crime in the United States of America? And the fact that it was a Trump-owned golf club that makes it, what, somehow criminal? That's what our members are doing. Our members have impact. And that's why this trade organization decided to come out and slam us so. Yep, absolutely. Well, Dana Lash, I know you'll be fighting back for, uh, for as long as they keep coming after us, and we appreciate you for it, Dana. As always, it's good to talk to you.